Hey guys, and today we're going to be doing a complete in-depth review of the newly introduced 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Creating a brand new automotive brand is no easy task and Genesis definitely knows this. With the Genesis brand first being introduced in the last quarter of 2016, there is no denying that the Genesis brand has quite some work cut out for itself. This whole idea won't face Genesis though because for the 2018 model year, Genesis has given their best seller, the Genesis G80, a mid-cycle refresh. Selling a total of approximately 15,000 units annually, the Genesis G80 is no sales leader, but Genesis hopes to change that figure for the 2018 model year. One of the vehicles that will help Genesis towards an even more successful future is the vehicle I'm standing next to right now, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Offering a crisp luxury ambiance paired to a sporty factor with a price tag that won't break the bank, the Genesis G80 Sport may just be the vehicle Genesis needs to attract more consumers from its German, British, and Japanese rivals. So does the Genesis G80 Sport have what it takes to pull up Genesis to an even higher pedigree? And does the G80 Sport have what it takes to compete in the very competitive luxury mid-size sports sedan segment? Well, let's find out. Now before I get this review rolling, I'd like to thank Tony King at Rick Case Genesis in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for allowing me to review this vehicle for you guys. If you're interested in purchasing a brand new or used Genesis and live in the South Florida area, don't hesitate to check them out. They will get you into the perfect Genesis in no time. And remember that all of Drive and Be Driven's reviews are 100% honest and 0% biased. So uh, let's get started. Alright, here it is, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Now, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to come in a total of five exterior colors, and the Genesis G80 Sport is also going to be wearing Genesis's athletic elegance design language, and that is definitely going to be extremely prominent on the front end design of this Genesis G80 Sport, as well as the rest of the vehicle. So, looking at the front end right here, Genesis is going to give you these very attractive looking headlight modules right here, and this this headlight module is going to be pretty much the same exact headlight module that you are going to find on the 3.8 ultimate package and above and any packages below that are going to come with high intensity discharge headlights with incandescent turn signal indicators located on that inner portion right there this vehicle is also going to come with led turn signal indicators located right beneath your two main headlight bulbs right there this is going to be an led bulb right there as well as right there this one will work as your low beam and this one will work as your high beams. Looking inside of there, Genesis is also going to give you these copper accents on the interior of your headlight module, looking extremely attractive right there. And also these headlights have a very, very neat look to them. These 
modules sort of mimic the overall grill design of the Genesis G80 here. So that is definitely a pretty neat feature. Coming below here, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to delete the horizontally positioned LED fog lights found on pretty much all other G80 models. The Genesis G80 Sport is going to replace that with a little vent right here, allowing for more ventilation for the twin turbo under the hood, as well as some ventilation right here to allow for air to move more freely around the vehicle as well as to cool off the wheels and brake calipers right over here Genesis is also going to equip the Genesis G80 with this dark chrome accenting all around the vehicle so you are going to see lots of key features of that all over the place and Genesis is also going to sort of arc this in a little bit of an angle making it look a lot more aggressive looking at the lower portion right here Genesis is also going to give you a very prominent catamaran line which is pretty much the line right there curving up and going all the way down as well as these portions right here which is not on the normal Genesis G80. This is going to be sort of like a fang design. That's pretty much how I like to put it. And then right here, this is going to be a very large gaping mouth that Genesis and pretty much Hyundai is known for putting on a lot of their vehicles. And this is definitely going to make you move out of the way if you do see this very menacing face rolling behind you. Now the grill is going to be quite different from what you find on other G80 models. The Genesis G80 Sport is going to come with this sort of like a mesh looking grill. It's not going to come with horizontal slats like some other G80s. Also the Genesis G80 Sport will come with that dark chrome accenting running all the way around that grill design as well as some matte finish copper accents on the inner portion. Copper accents are also sort of what Genesis is going for with the G80 Sport as well. That's pretty much how you can tell a Immediately that this is going to be a G80 Sport by this very different looking front end, this a lot more aggressive looking front end, as well as those copper and dark chrome accents. Coming right here to your Genesis logo, pretty much the same thing that we did see on the Genesis G90 that I did review for you guys not too long ago. Very, very attractive looking logo. I really like the logo that Genesis is rocking on a lot of their latest products. Coming down the side of the Genesis G80 Sport, Genesis is also going to give you these standard 19 inch alloy rims right here, which look amazing. These have tons of spokes. I believe this is 20 spokes. So that is definitely a very impressive number. Also, this vehicle will come with Genesis high performance brake calipers which is actually standard on all Genesis G80 sports as well as sort of like this copper accenting on the inner portion as well but this is going to look a little bit more like a brushed or like a stainless steel but a little more like a stainless copper right there as well as some glossy carbon fiber accents and a Genesis logo in the center just to put a cherry on top. Coming down the side of the vehicle right here a lot more strong character lines running down the side. A strong one is going to be very prominent right there as well as the lower door sill right here as well the rocker moldings are actually going to be special to the Genesis G80 Sport these are going to be slightly different than what you find on other G80 models coming up here Genesis is very corporate design accent right here this character line is going to run from the lower port the top of your grill design and is going to run all the way up your hood and merge right into your a pillar pretty much found on all other genesis and hyundai products coming right here to your mirror design very attractive looking mirror design genesis is actually rumored that they are going to make this possibly carbon fiber accented in future model years and i would definitely like to see that as maybe an option i don't know if they should do it for standard equipment but definitely an option would be neat. Also, LED turn signal indicators are going to be located inside of the mirrors of the Genesis G80 Sport. And overall, this mirror design is going to look extremely attractive. Coming down the side here, Genesis is also going to put your blind spot monitoring right there, that little portion that's showing two cars right there. That is going to be your blind spot monitoring. And you're also going to get this very strong character line reaching all the way up there to the front of your headlights, running all the way down onto your chrome accented hand handles right there. These are going to be sort of like that darker chrome accenting right there as well as your smart key access system and that smart key access system is only going to be on your front driver and passenger doors not on your rear doors and that is going to merge all the way into your taillight design right there and your taillights also look fairly attractive from the side profile but if we look at the side profile of the Genesis G80 as a whole well this vehicle definitely is 
designed to impress. I mean, looking at the front end profile right there, it is going to have a very long hood, making it pretty much suggesting that this vehicle is going to be rear wheel drive, which it is. The vehicle that we have here is going to be the rear wheel drive model. Also, you are going to have a fairly raked back A pillar there, but not too bad, actually. That is going to have a very mature and elegant look. And then your rear roof line is going to slope down and merge right onto your rear tailgate with a pretty blunt rear and front end, once again, making this vehicle look a little bit more aggressive and mature walking up here the genesis g80 sport also comes with staggered wheels so the front wheels are going to be 245s and the rear will be 275 so that is definitely a neat feature making the vehicle look a little bit more aggressive and sporty coming to the rear end of the genesis g80 sport well genesis didn't really change much on this rear end but it definitely looks extremely sporty on pretty much all models of the genesis g80 some things that genesis did change to this rear end is going to mainly be in this lower face on the lower face you are going to have quad chrome tipped exhaust on the bottom right there as well as a rear diffuser which is going to be sort of like a glossy black plastic and then coming a little bit closer in here you are also going to have sort of like this honeycomb mesh portion right inside of there it's just there for design it's not allowing for any ventilation or anything like that and right above there are going to be your reflectors and coming all the way up to the top are going to be your tail lights, which are going to be a full LED module. You are going to have your brake lights as well as your turn signal indicators will be located right here and your reverse lights. Coming over here, Genesis also gives you your Genesis logo right there, looking very, very clean and sophisticated on the rear end of this very smooth and almost modestly styled rear end also right here genesis g80 badging letting everyone know that you did go for that genesis g80 and coming over here to the right it is going to say 3.3 t now one thing i'm noticing is that it is not going to say sport anywhere on the rear end of the genesis g80 sport and that is definitely something i would have liked to have seen especially since genesis is trying to make this vehicle a lot more sporty i would have definitely liked to have seen genesis put a sport badge on the back sort of like in that same copper accent that they are going for with a lot of the accents around the vehicle. I would have liked to have seen something that said Genesis G80 and maybe like a copper accented sport in cursive writing that would have looked amazing on the back end of this G80 sport. But overall, the rear end design of this vehicle is very attractive. Also coming up here, I wanted to mention how Genesis does not give you a spoiler on your sport model of the Genesis G80, but they are going to give you sort of like this character line that suggests that there is going to be a spoiler right there. So Genesis is trying to be a little bit more futuristic and different with their overall design and styling and genesis also mounts a shark fin antenna up here that is going to be a glossy black color pretty much matching and blending in with the overall portion of this roof which is going to house your panoramic sunroof which we will look at once we get inside of the genesis g80 and i really like how it is going to be that very similar color to the overall windscreen as well as the rear window here as well it is going to make this vehicle pretty much appear that it is going to have a full glass ceiling all right so now let's talk about the rest of the 2018 genesis g80 sport all right, now let's talk about the dimensions of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. So the width of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is going to be 74.4 inches, which is going to be wider than most of its competitors by about 1 to 2 inches. It's actually only going to be narrower to the Jaguar XFS, which is going to be at a whopping 78.2 inches. But overall, when it is going to come to its class, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be on the wider end of the spectrum. And the length of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is going to be 196.5 inches, which is going to be longer than most of its competitors by up to 3 inches. One of the competitors that will be the closest to the length of this vehicle is going to be the Jaguar XFS at just about 195.2 inches. So once again, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to show that it is going to be a little bit larger in its overall dimensions when compared to its German, British, and Japanese rivals. The wheelbase of this vehicle is going to be just about 118.5 inches, which is going to be longer than most of its competitors by up to 6 inches, especially when compared to something like the Lexus GS350 F Sports 112.2 inch rating. But the BMW 540i is going to be only just about 1 inch shorter when you are looking at the wheelbases between the two vehicles. But overall, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to have one of the longest wheelbases in its class, meaning that it is going to be able to offer class-leading interior volume.
All right, so now let's talk about the height of this vehicle. So the height of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is going to be 58.3 inches, which is actually one of the tallest entries in its class, ranking in about one inch taller than most of its competitors. The only vehicle that is going to be ranking similarly to this vehicle is going to be the BMW 540i at just about 58.2 inches in height. And the weight of this vehicle is going to be 4,519 pounds, which is approximately 200 to 500 pounds heftier than most of its competitors. And if you want all-wheel drive, that is going to add an additional 155 pounds to the already heavy Genesis G80 Sport. And the turning radius of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is going to be 18.1 feet, which is actually one of the smallest turning radiuses in its class. Most of its competitors are going to be closer to 19 feet, and others will even be closer to 20 feet. Only the Lexus GS350 F Sport is going to have a smaller turning radius at just about 17.4 feet. And the minimum ground clearance of the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be just about 5.1 inches. All right, so now let's talk about the standard equipment found on the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, as well as a brief trim level breakdown. So Genesis chooses to divide the trim levels based upon the engine choice that you pick. So technically, there are a total of only three trim levels. There are going to be the 3.8 V6, the 3.3 T Sport V6, which is the vehicle that we have right here, and the 5.0 V8. For each of those trim levels, there are going to be packages that you can choose from. For the 3.8 v6 there are going to be a total of three packages the standard package the premium package and the ultimate package for the 3.3 t sport v6 or the g80 sport which is the vehicle that we have right here is go there are going to be no available packages this is actually going to come similarly spec out to something like the genesis 3.8 v6 ultimate package but it is going to come with a few more features and some of those features are going to include staggered 19 inch sport alloy wheels so the sport alloy wheels wheels that you are going to be finding right here on the Genesis G80 Sport are going to be exclusive to this vehicle and these are going to have 245 40s up front and 275 35 tires out back which is definitely definitely going to look really aggressive these are going to be staggered wheel designs also the genesis g80 sport is going to come with a 3.3 liter twin turboed v6 engine under the hood which we are going to talk about just a little later on inside of this review as well as a sport cdc suspension on this genesis g80 sport this genesis g80 sport is also going to come with a slew of sport exterior accents as well as quad exhaust pipes which are going to be chrome tipped so coming to the back right here these are going to be very very aggressive looking quad exhaust tips right here on both sides with your lower diffuser which is also going to be exclusive to the g80 sport this vehicle will also come with panoramic sunroof so this panoramic sunroof is going to be looking very very neat on the top of the 2018 genesis g80 sport sort of giving this vehicle a little bit more of that aggressive and sporty appearance this vehicle will also come with wireless phone charging and a lexicon 17 speaker surround sound audio system which is also standard on this vehicle also this 2018 genesis g80 sport is going to come with front and rear parking sensors so these little dots that you are going to find on the front of the genesis g80 sport are going to be parking sensors and you're also going to see those on the rear of the g80 sport as well and this vehicle will also come with the deletion of led fog lights because genesis did want to make this vehicle a lot more efficient for that turbocharger under the hood and turbochargers technically need a little bit more ventilation in order to work properly so as as a result genesis did choose to eliminate those led fog lights in replace for a little bit different of a design up here genesis did give you sort of like this wind curtain portion right there which will allow for air to flow around the vehicle a little bit more seamlessly as well as sort of like this opening right here which will allow for more air to flow inside of the engine bay and cool down that very large v6 twin turboed engine under the hood but we are going to talk about that a little bit later on like i mentioned before and the other trim level available for the 2018 Genesis G80 is going to be the 5.0 V8, which is actually only going to have a total of one available package, and that is going to be the ultimate package. But overall, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is going to come pretty well equipped, and pretty much what you see here is what you are going to get. The only thing that you can choose from is going to be either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. But let's talk about the rest of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. 
Now the pricing of the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be pretty simple. There's actually only going to be a total of two options that you can pick from. You either pick rear wheel drive or you pick all wheel drive. The Genesis G80 rear wheel drive is going to be priced at just about $55,250 and the Genesis G80 Sport all wheel drive is going to be priced at just about $57,750 not including your freight charges. Now the starting prices of the Genesis G80 Sport compared to its competitors is actually going to wow you quite a bit compared to the Audi A6 the BMW 5 series and the Lexus GS with similarly specced engines the Genesis G80 Sport is actually going to start with a starting price very in line with a lot of those competitors but once again you have to keep in mind that the Genesis G80 Sport doesn't come with any available packages unlike a lot of its competitors so the Genesis G80 Sport as a result will come with a lot more standard equipment the starting price of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is actually going to start just about $8,000 less expensive than a base Jaguar XF with a similarly specced engine and about $17,000 less expensive than a base Mercedes E-Class with a similarly specced engine setup. So like I said, this Genesis G80 Sport is going to be pretty much a really good bargain in this segment. So pretty much you will buy this vehicle if you want the overall bargain and value proposition that the Genesis brand offers in pretty much all of their vehicles and the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be no exception to that. Now the Genesis G80 Sport is going to compete in the mid-size luxury sports sedan segment. So this vehicle can be compared to quite a few vehicles, but some of the most direct competitors can include the Audi A6 3.0 TFSI, the BMW 540i, the Mercedes AMG E43, the Jaguar XFS, and the Lexus GS 350F Sport. All right, so now let's talk about what's under the hood of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Now to open up the hood to the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, all you have to do is come to your Genesis logo right here. Slightly to the right, there is going to be a little black lever instead of there. You click that to the left and lift the hood right on up. And what you are going to be looking at right here is going to be Genesis's 3.3 liter twin turbo dual overhead cam 24 valve V6 engine. And this engine is going to be good to produce 365 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and just about 376 pound feet of torque at as early as 1,300 RPM all the way until 4,500 RPM. So this vehicle is going to pretty much have instant torque right off of idle. So that is definitely, definitely a good thing. Also right here, it is going to say turbo GDI, which pretty much means turbo gasoline direct injection. And then right down the sides, you are going to have sort of like these designs that look like the wings on the Genesis badge right there. And then right here you have your Genesis badge on the top. Now, the Genesis G80 is actually only going to come with a total of three available engines. So you are going to have the base 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. And then one step up from that is going to be the 3.3 liter twin turboed V6 engine, which is the engine that we have right here on the Genesis G80 Sport. One step up from that is going to be the 5.0 liter naturally aspirated V8, which is going to be on the top of the line trims of the Genesis G80. Most of its competitors are actually going to come standard with four cylinders, not a V6. So that's definitely something that Genesis has over a lot of its competitors. And one other thing that I did want to mention about this vehicle is that this is going to have the same engine found under the hood of the 2017 Genesis G90 Premium, which I did review for you guys not too long ago. But the main reason why this vehicle is going to be a little bit more sport oriented because this vehicle actually weighs a whopping 1,000 pounds lighter than that Genesis G90, meaning that this vehicle is going to have a much better power to weight ratio. Now this Genesis G80 will feel much more powerful than that much heavier G90 as well. This vehicle is going to be paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission which is going to be specially sport tuned which will come with Genesis's Shift Tronic manual 
manual shift mode, which we will talk about a little bit later on when we do get inside of the cabin of the Genesis G80. This vehicle will also come with four drive modes. This is going to be called their intelligent drive mode selector, which is going to come with an eco mode, a normal mode, a sport mode, and a snow mode. And rear wheel drive is going to be standard on all G80 sports, and an H track all wheel drive is optional equipment. Now, zero to 60 times of this engine is going to be just about five seconds, which is going to be just about half a second quicker than the Genesis G90 with the exact same engine. So that lighter weight is definitely going to translate to a lot more performance. Also, this Genesis G80 Sport is going to come with quite a bit of sport enhancement technologies as well. So some of those sport enhancement technologies will include a dual continuously variable valve timing system. So when we do turn on this engine, you are going to hear a little bit of ticking, and that is going to be that gasoline direct injection as well as that variable valve timing. And this vehicle will also come with a tune intake system or TIS, and TIS will pretty much help with the air intake of the Genesis G80 Sport since it does have a twin turbo engine under the hood. All right, so now let's listen to pretty much how this vehicle is going to sound under revs. And closing up the hood to the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is actually pretty simple because Genesis is going to give you the struts on both sides of your hood, allowing for you to close this somewhat very large and heavy hood fairly easily. This is actually probably one of the easiest hoods that I have ever closed. Now to open up the fuel tank latch right here on the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, all you have to do is open up the driver's door and come to the driver's knee area right here and all you have to do is press this button and it will unlock that latch right there. But now let's talk about the fuel economy of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Now, if you go for the rear wheel drive option, the fuel economy is going to be 17 miles per gallon in the city, 25 miles per gallon on the highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. If you go for the all wheel drive option, you are going to be looking at about a drop in only your highway driving. All wheel drive is going to give you 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. Now, when compared to most of its competitors, all of those competitors are going to get anywhere from two to three miles per gallon better in the city, and most of its competitors are going to be getting two to four miles per gallon better on the highway. MPG ratings are actually closely in line with something like the Mercedes AMG E43 with 1825. But if you are looking at the majority of its competitors, the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be lagging behind by quite a bit. Also, premium fuel is recommended if you want to get the best performance out of your G80 Sport. And Genesis does not give you a capless design right here. It is going to be a twist cap design and you just pretty much take your cap and you can rest it right on there when you are filling up for gas. 
All right, so now let's talk about the interior design of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. So coming up to the door of the Genesis G80 Sport, you are going to see that these mirrors are going to open up for you through the proximity key. So it is going to sense that you are getting near the vehicle and it will open up these mirrors, which is definitely a pretty neat feature. Coming down here, looking at your door, handle design, Genesis is going to give you your smart key access system on both your front driver and your front passenger doors. Your rear passengers are not going to get that feature. So all you have to do is unlock the door right here. It will make that little noise indicating that the door has been unlocked. But if we use this smart key access system here, all you have to do is push the button once and it will unlock your doors and open up that mirror right there. And you just push it again and it will lock up the vehicle and close up that mirror by flashing the hazard. So let's open up the vehicle right now. And looking at the door panel design on the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, it is going to look extremely attractive looking. Right here, Genesis is going to give you sort of like this injected molded plastic on the upper portion. Very soft touch. Definitely is going to feel pretty high quality. Right below there, you are going to see sort of like this glossy carbon fiber insert on the door panel design. And then below there, you are going to have this aluminum accent running around there, as well as an aluminum accented door handle with an aluminum accented door lock, which is definitely a pretty neat feature. I like how they didn't just put plastic there. They definitely paid attention to that. Right over here to the right, Genesis also gives you two memory seat control settings. So you can have a memory seat for the main driver and then anyone else who may be driving your vehicle, you can also have a second one for that. And you will just press this button up here to set it to whichever one you want. Looking at your tweeter right here, this is going to be the tweeter to your 17 speaker lexicon premium audio system the genesis g80 sport comes standard with that as well as a surround sound system by logic the company genesis g80s the base genesis g80s will come with a seven speaker audio system which is not going to be any big name brand it's pretty much just going to be a genesis audio system and then if you step up from that to the 3.8 premium trim the 3.8 premium trim will come with a 14 speaker audio system which is also going to be by lexicon now looking at your door panel design below there you're also going to have sort of like this leather insert right here very very plush love the feel of that as well as this copper accenting running all the way down in sort of like these strips sort of making this look like quilted leather so that's definitely a pretty neat feature coming right here once again some more leather inserts where you will rest your elbow as well as inside of here soft to the touch plastics with a little bit of a rubber grip there so if you do want to put your keys inside of there you can do that and they won't be sliding around too much when you are driving around looking right here you are going to have pretty much all of your necessities that you pretty much expect to see right here you are going to have your mirror controls located up here as well as your lock and your unlock features as well as your window locks you can also have auto up and down for all of your windows inside of this Genesis G80 Sport. So Genesis did not cheap out. They are going to give you as much as they possibly can in here. And these window switches feel pretty decent. They're not really feeling the best. I would definitely like to have seen sort of like an aluminum accented, sort of like what's found, I believe, on the Genesis G90 that I reviewed. But overall, you have to keep in mind this vehicle is aimed a little bit lower to a little bit lower of a market. Coming below there, a little bit more of that copper stitching located all beneath there as well as some more soft touch plastics all the way on the lower portion so genesis did not skimp out once again giving you this soft touch plastic all the way to pretty much the bottom of the door panel even under here on the lower portion of the sill will also be soft to the touch so that is definitely a pretty neat feature looking inside of here hard to the touch plastic inside of here that's pretty much what you need just in case if you spill your juice or anything like that but inside of here you are going to have sort of like this suede liner inside of there so that's also a pretty neat feature so it is sort of going to be lined with felt with a rubberized bottom portion there as well so that is definitely a pretty neat feature once again you have another very large lexicon premium audio system speaker making up for the one of the 17 speakers inside of this vehicle looking at the interior of this vehicle the genesis g80 sport has a pretty clean and sophisticated look to the overall interior design the genesis g80 sport is going to come with a total of two interior colors you can 
can pick either a black leather interior or a gray leather interior. The vehicle that we have right here is going to be the black interior color since we have the polar ice. If you go for the polar ice or the Himalayan gray, you can only get this black interior. If you go for any of the other three colors, you can get a black or a gray interior. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. But all of the trims of the Genesis G80 Sport will come with this copper accenting on the inner portion of your vehicle as well as carbon fiber inserts all abound the interior as well so you are going to have these carbon fiber accents located all around the interior of this vehicle because the genesis g80 sport is a little bit more sport oriented so if you are looking for wood instead of your genesis g80 sport this may not be the vehicle that you may want because well wood is not available in this sport model but now let's talk about the seating comfort inside of the 2018 genesis g80 sport let's first look at the design really quick right here you are going to have this very plush feeling leather here it is going to be stitched up right there as well as have perforation on the lower portion as well as it looks like thigh extensions right there so that's a pretty neat feature there thigh extensions actually only going to be available on your driver's seat not your passenger seat unfortunately and right here more of that copper accenting all over the seats right here as well as up there looking very very neat coming down here you are going to have all of your controls for your seats as well we're going to talk about seating comfort in just a little bit so just pretty much showing you all the controls that you have here you have up and down as well as forward and backwards you have the rest controls as well as your lumbar support as well as I believe this is going to be your bolstering if you want to control your bolstering there and this will also be for your thigh extender so you can move in and out that thigh extender and looking at the design at the top of your seat backs right here you are going to see that you have more leather upholstery all the way up here as well as a little bit more of that copper accenting in stitching form running all the way up around your shoulder support so you are Going to have a pretty decent amount of shoulder support there as well as pretty big bolstering here on your thighs as well as your torso so we are going to see how that feels in seating comfort you have a little bit more of that stitching running down the sides here looking very very attractive as well as more perforation on your backrest so that is definitely a pretty neat feature and you are going to have a smooth leather for your headrest as well as more of that copper accenting running around there all right so now let's talk about the interior comfort of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. Alright, so now let's talk about the front seat comfort inside of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. So right now I have the vehicle off, so it is going to move the seat all the way back in its tracks as well as raise the steering wheel, so it is going to be very easy to get in and out of the cabin of this vehicle. But all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push the start button, and it is going to adjust my seat to my driving comfort, and is also going to adjust the steering wheel back to the setting that I had it on previously. Now this vehicle is going to come with two-stage memory seat controls you can set it for a driver a main driver as well as a second driver so that is definitely a pretty neat feature but sitting inside of these seats you are going to have 16-way powered driver seat and a 12-way powered passenger seat so you can move this thigh extender forward and backwards on the Genesis G80 Sport you can also move your bolstering your upper torso bolstering in and out so you can pretty much squeeze it in or loosen it out so that's also a pretty neat feature and that will be controlled by this little lever right here so you can pull that in and out and that will sort of squeeze it in it doesn't really squeeze it in that much for me if you're a little bit wider in your stature it might sort of come in contact but right now it's not really doing much at all if you do control that on the Genesis G80 Sport but if you are going to be a little bit wider in your stature I'm sure that will have a little bit of an effect on you also the Genesis G80 Sport offers pretty much everything else that you expect inside of this vehicle it will come with your raising of the bottom of the seat as well as lowering you can move it forward and backwards you can move this backrest forward if you want as well as move it a little bit backwards you also have four way powered lumbar support on both your driver and your front passenger so that is also a pretty neat feature your front passenger actually is not going to come with this thigh extender and it is also not going to come with your bolstering right here up here you cannot adjust the bolstering on that passenger seat either so that is a little bit of a downside but overall the seats inside of the genesis g80 sport are going to be pretty comfortable they are going to be a little bit more sporty than you may expect they are going to have sort of like this pretty 
aggressive bolstering on the bottom not overly aggressive to where they are uncomfortable you can pretty much drive this vehicle on an everyday basis and it is not going to pretty much be hugging you too much to where you are regretting it also coming to the back here you can like i said adjust your lumbar so you can pretty much adjust this backrest to whichever way you feel comfortable and this also is going to have very aggressive bolstering up here so if you are going around corners it should hold you in place fairly well inside of the 2018 genesis g80 and your headrest unfortunately is not going to be powered it is still going to be manual and you can only lift it up and down it is not going to move in and out and like i said it's not going to be powered definitely would like to see genesis add that in future model years but overall the seating comfort inside of this vehicle is pretty comfortable all right so now let's hop on inside of the cabin of this vehicle and you don't really have to duck your head when you are getting inside of the Genesis G80 at all. It's actually pretty neat here. This A-pillar is going to sweep back just a little bit, but right here, this is pretty much going to be the highest point of the roof, and that's pretty much where your head is going to go, so it is going to be very easy to get in and out of this vehicle. Also, jumping inside of this vehicle, you aren't really going to have to fall into this vehicle that much at all because it is going to be a sedan. It's not going to be overly low like some coupes, but it isn't going to be a perfect or high ride height like some SUVs but overall you aren't going to have to fall into this cabin too much so let's close up the door really quick very solid sound to that door it's actually pretty impressive how solid that door does sound this vehicle was I believe first introduced in the 2015 model year and the Genesis G80 is definitely still holding up with a lot of its competitors that door does not sound like a 2015 door I don't know if they upgraded it for this sport model or if they have been upgrading it as time goes on but that door definitely sounds extremely solid by today's standards so looking at your key fob design right here the Genesis G80 Sport is going to have a pretty attractive looking key fob design this is going to be the same key fob design found across the entire Genesis lineup on the Genesis G90 that I reviewed this is going to be the exact same key fob so at the top you are going to have your lock unlock your trunk hold button as well as your panic alarm and on the back it is going to have a small Genesis logo with some hard plastic it's not going to be leather wrapped or anything like that. it's going to be hard touch plastic with a leather imitation and some aluminum accentings on the side as well as a button right here is going to be a chrome button you press this and you pull out the bottom portion there will be a physical key inside of this key fob design also the genesis g80 sport i believe doesn't come with any remote start i would definitely like to have seen remote start on this key fob and that is overall all i can really say about this key fob design it is going to have a very nice weight to it. it is going to be feeling very heavy and premium but overall i would like to have seen some sort of remote start on this key fob as well as maybe a little bit of an upgraded key fob if they were to add a little bit of more of a soft to the touch feel to it but that's personally nitpicking because most of his competitors aren't going to have that at all so as long as you have the key fob inside of the vehicle all you have to do is push on the brake down there and push this aluminum accented push button to start it up And it is going to adjust your steering wheel just a little bit as well as the seat like I demonstrated earlier. But looking at your gauge cluster design inside of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, it actually looks very, very attractive here. This is going to be a slightly updated gauge cluster design over last year's model. The Genesis G80 is going to get the elimination of a digital coolant temperature as well as a digital fuel gauge. Last year models and previous model years of the Hyundai Genesis and the Genesis G80 had those digital readouts but on the 2018 model year Genesis decided to add more of an analog gauge design which is going to have a little bit more of a clean and classy look here also coming to the left very easy to read gauge cluster design right here as well it is going to have a black face white numbers and a white needle and your red line is going to be around 6500 rpm if you rev the engine it is going to end around 5,000 RPM. So it isn't going to rev all the way up to that 6,500 RPM. That is probably going to be when you are driving. That will be the most ideal place to shift at. And coming to the right side, your speedometer is going to be very similar. It is going to have the black face, white numbers, and a white needle. And it is going to count up in increments of 20. And below there will be your fuel gauge, which is going to be an analog gauge. Looks very clean and sophisticated. Right here in the center is going to be a 7 
inch LCD driver's information display and it is going to house quite a bit of information so in this upper left corner it is going to pretty much mention which gear you are in currently I am in park so it is going to display the park up there right above there it is going to tell you how much range you have into your gas tank is empty as well as the average fuel economy that you are getting now that is probably not going to be the actual fuel economy that you will be getting in this vehicle since this vehicle was mainly in the parking lot hasn't really been driven around that much so I would expect to see slightly different numbers on there once you actually start to drive this vehicle down here in the bottom left corner it will tell you the temperature outside a whopping 103 degrees Fahrenheit and over here on the right how many miles this vehicle has so to go through this screen display right here all you have to do is come right down here and you can go through the screen by scrolling up right here as well as pressing this page button. So if we press the page button first, it is going to take you through the different pages up top. So you can see that you have quite a bit of pages. You have four pages. The second page will be your navigation. That will be your turn by turn navigation. And this will be all of your driver's information. You can get a little bit more of your attention alert system as well as I believe this will be your lane keep assist as well as your lane departure warning. And if you press that one more time, it will take you to all of your user settings. This vehicle also has a heads up display. So if you come right up here, you will see that little zero miles per hour icon right there that is going to be for your heads up display which is also a pretty neat feature and you can adjust that heads up display you can raise it and lower it so I am going to lower it right now and you can see that I am lowering it and I am also raising it through this screen right here I can raise and lower the height that I want that to be on and if you want to go back out of that screen all you have to do is press OK and it will take you back out of that screen Coming back over here, a little bit more information, rotation. All of these are going to be for your heads up display. You can go back right there. One thing I would have liked for Genesis to add is a back button. I don't like how you have to scroll all the way back to the top to press back. I would have definitely liked to have seen them just add a little back button on the steering wheel. That would have made this system a little bit more intuitive. But coming down here, driving assistance technologies as well as your doors, your lights, sound, convenience, service intervals, and a few more features. Now if we press the page button once more, it is going to take us through a little bit more of information. It is going to take us back to this first page and you can scroll through this first page. You will have a little bit more information, pretty much your trip gauge as well as your driving info and the speedometer in miles per hour. And that is going to give you a digital readout as to how fast you are going. So that is also a pretty neat feature on this vehicle. Looking at the steering wheel design on the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport, the steering wheel design is definitely very attractive looking. You are not going to have a flat bottom steering wheel on the Genesis G80 Sport which is a little bit disheartening especially since this vehicle is sport oriented I would definitely like to have seen a flat bottom steering wheel on here but Genesis is going to give you perforation around here on your grips as well as perfect 9 and 3 grips and 10 and 2 notches up here it is going to feel very confidence inspiring when you are just holding this steering you pretty much just want to start driving also at the top portion is going to be a smooth leather as well as on the lower portion a smooth leather and this steering wheel is going to be a three spoke steering wheel design with a hole cut out on your bottom spoke and a little bit more of that aluminum accenting right there Genesis logo right on your horn cover looks extremely attractive looking right there and on this right side will be all of the controls for this center screen as well as your cruise control and your distance markers for your adaptive cruise control and you can also press cancel right there coming to the left side right here you will have all of your Bluetooth as well as your hang up and your pickup buttons for your Bluetooth phone connection here as well so coming to the left side Genesis also gives you some carbon fiber accenting going around your AC vent here as well as this opening and closing for your AC vent and this is going to be plastic I would have liked to have seen something like an aluminum portion right here sliding in and out that would have definitely been a nice feature and right here in front of your driver's left knee you are going to have a few more buttons this is going to be your gauge dimmer as well as your fuel tank opening you can open up the latch for that this is going to be your lane keep assist 
and this is going to be your rear sunshade and coming right here this will be your trunk you can't open up your trunk by pressing here since that is going to be a power assisted trunk but we will talk about that in just a little bit later on in this review and this will be blind spot monitoring and your traction stability control on and off button right there and this will be your parking brake located over here which is a pretty neat feature so it is going to free up some space in your center console coming down here if I open up the door really quick you are going to have aluminum sport pedals inside of the Genesis G80 Sport. You will have sort of like this rubber portion right here on the aluminum portion as well as on your brake pedal and your gas pedal. And all these pedals are going to be perfectly sized as well as this dead pedal on the left will be perfectly sized. And right to the left will be your hood right there. You can just pull that and unlock your hood. Alright, so looking at your center stack right here, it is going to have a pretty neat design here. It is going to have your touch screen right there as well as with your AC vents to the right and left of that. It's very similar to what's going on in the Sonata. Not a huge fan of why they pretty much mim made it mimic the Sonata. Definitely would like to see Genesis get their own interior design language in the coming years. Coming below there, very traditional. What you pretty much will expect to find is a little bit button happy for my liking. Would we'll definitely like to see Genesis minimize the amount of buttons that they do add instead of here it's a little bit too much here but overall you are going to have your analog clock right here looking really really neat it's going to have sort of like that copper back face right there with your lines right there pretty much indicating the different times on the clock looks really neat with some more aluminum accenting going around there coming to the left of that will be your different temperatures that you can set this this is going to have a dual zone climate control so you can change what you want it to be right up here in this top left corner it is going to tell you the temperature that i'm changing it to you can change the temperature there you can also change the fan speed so it is going to change the fan speed how fast you want it to move and this ac can definitely get up and start working so that's definitely a good thing to know especially since it is extremely hot out here today also coming below there you can turn it off as well as turn on your auto ac right here will also be the different zones that you want that ac to be blowing on you at right over here your front window defroster rear window defroster as well as your mirror defrosters this will control the temperature for the right front passenger right there and then right here will be your sync button so you can sync the driver to the passenger so if we look at the top really quick you are going to see that right at the top if i press that button it is going to sync this and that side to 65. if i put this up to 70 and i press that button once more you will see that it will change both to 65 and that is through pressing this sync button Right here, you can change the different positions that you want the air to blow on the passenger side, which is also a pretty neat feature. Right here, in-car circulation for your AC, as well as this climate button. Coming down here, you are going to have your radio controls all at a separate portion. So the top portion is going to be for all of your air conditioning, and the bottom portion will be for all of your radio controls. Radio controls, you have your volume here. You also have right over here for your tune. You can go through the different stations on this screen, which we will talk about in just a little bit. You also have AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, as well as media. This will be where you would put your map SD card right inside of there. You also have your map slash voice, as well as the different things that you can go through for your seek and track if you want to go through your radio station right there. Coming below there, this pretty neat portion right here you can push this open and it is going to house your smartphone charging so you can charge your smartphone right inside of there as well as do your USB right there you can plug in your phone through USB and connect it to the system if you don't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay if you just don't want to use that and you want to just charge it through there as well as your auxiliary port so you can just put your phone right inside of here and my phone fits inside of this portion with no problem so that's definitely a good thing and I can close that right on up and it is going to be a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So it is a pretty large phone and my phone fits in there with no problem. Coming back down here is going to be the overall gear selector setup and this is going to be a new design for 2018. Previous model years had a slightly different design. Personally, I really love the design of this, very similar to what's found on the Genesis G90. I like how it is going to have this upper portion leather wrapped and it is going to have sort of like this cool sort of like an front of an airplane shape right there looking really neat on the side we'll have some glossy piano black right there with some aluminum accenting going around there and your park button is going to be located up there as well as your reverse neutral and drive right there so you can go through this by going to reverse pushing up 
it will put you into reverse displaying your reverse camera which actually has pretty good graphics on that I mean it's not extremely good definitely would have liked to have seen better graphics on this reverse camera I'm not quite sure it looks a little bit grainy for my liking but you are going to have 360 view surround view cameras right here which definitely looks neat because you are going to have a camera underneath your front driver mirror your front passenger mirror as well as the front of the car and the rear of the car giving you a pretty neat visual of around the vehicle you can also press here to look at different views inside of the cabin you can look at the entire rear of the vehicle if you don't want that portion on the side you can also look at just the side of the car if you want to just look at the side and that is going to be the driver's side and then you can also look at just the passenger side of the vehicle as well and you can just go back to the setup personally i like this setup since if you are in a very tight area and you're trying to navigate this is going to be perfect for that just would like to see genesis work with the resolution of this as well as maybe install a higher quality camera back there since the graining is just a little bit on the fuzzy side for my liking and you can also put this vehicle into neutral and drive and drive you also have paddle shifters inside of this vehicle you have your paddle shifters for down on the left and your paddle shifters to shift up the, up a gear on the right and this is going to be aluminum so they are going to feel pretty positive and up there in the top left corner it is going to tell you which gear you are in so that's also a pretty neat feature and they are very clicky and they are feeling very high quality here as well so let me put this vehicle right back into park it is going to make that little beeping noise indicating that the vehicle has been put back into park. Right down here will be all of your driving modes. You can press drive mode right here. And this vehicle is going to have a total of three drive modes since we have the rear wheel drive option. If you go for the all wheel drive option, you are going to have a total of four different drive modes. You will have normal, eco, sport, and snow on the all wheel drive. But on this vehicle, we are going to have normal, which will have sort of like this white display. You go to eco, give you a little bit of a green display, not too much changing overall in this gauge cluster display would definitely like to have seen a lot more of a drastic change and then sport will just give you a little bit of an orange portion right there actually one thing i would like to have seen genesis do is when you go through these different cycles to change that heads up display if you are in eco i would like that to be green if you are in normal i would have liked for that to have been white and if you were in sport i would have liked to have that to been in a red or an orange color but they do give you the option like i demonstrated earlier to change through those colors i just would have liked to have seen that as a preset option when you go through these different different driving modes if we press on our auto hold button this is going to hold you when you are at a stoplight you can pretty much turn that on and it will apply the brakes to the vehicle automatically so that's definitely a pretty neat feature and to the right right here you are going to have two cup holders right here having a pretty neat style to them and this entire thing is going to have sort of like this horizontal slat portion right here with sort of like a dark gray finish to it and some lighter aluminum accents going left and right so it's definitely going to look pretty neat and once you open that up it is going to be dampened and it is going to have a rubberized floor right there and some pretty smooth plastic we are going to see how our water bottles fit inside of here so we are going to have our small 16 ounce water bottle let's see how this fits fits inside of the front cup holder with no problem and fits inside of the back cup holder with no problem either let's see how our larger one liter water bottle fits and it barely fits doesn't really fit it's going to start falling onto your center stack so that's definitely something i would like to see genesis improve in future model years adding a slightly larger cup holder and the same thing is going to be happening here it does not quite fit inside of there so let's close that right on back up and coming behind there this is going to be the controls for your screen right here and i know you were just saying wait hold on isn't that screen touchscreen but yes the screen is touchscreen as well as controlled by this rotary dial and these quick access buttons on the left and right but before we talk about that i did want to mention that this vehicle also comes with heated and ventilated seats with three stages for both of those for both your front passer and your front driver so that's definitely a neat feature i'm actually going to turn on that ventilated seat because it is pretty hot out here so i want to turn that on right back here you have your 360 view cameras as long as you are in drive you can activate that and it will be on until you surpass 10 miles per hour and then i believe it will turn off and then over here will be to turn on and turn off your parking sensors right there as well and let's talk about this center portion right here and how this is integrated with this screen right here so i am going to go to the home page by pressing home on this portion it just took me to the home page and you can go through this screen by turning the rotary dial right down here so i am going to turn this rotary dial and it is going to take me through here i feel like it's a little bit backwards i turn to the right 
and it goes to the left. It's a little bit strange. Maybe it's because I'm using my left hand. That's probably the reason why it's doing that. But we are going to be on Sirius XM. You can also have your FM AM as well as your navigation, Sirius XM data as well as your phone, phone projection, blue link, and your setup. So if you go to our Sirius XM, all you have to do is click down into the center of this and it will select it. You can go through all of your different Sirius XM radio stations right here. I'm not sure if you could slide through this. It is sliding so you can slide through it the touchscreen's a little far away from my liking would definitely like for it to have been a little bit closer if they are trying to make this a touchscreen I feel like it's just a little bit too far but you are going to have a total of 18 preset stations for your Sirius XM and you can also go through that through your scroll wheel just scrolling through it. it's a lot quicker when you go through this wheel and this wheel is pretty responsive and it's going to have a very solid and premium sounding click to it so going to AM, you can't actually go through AM and FM through this screen, through this controller, unfortunately. So you have to come up here and press FM. And it will take you to FM. You can get some more presets on here as well. And it looks like you can only get a total of 12 presets on your FM. And then going to your AM, you can also get a total of 12 presets right there. And you can go through the different stations right there by turning this rotary dial right here to the right. And it will take you through your different stations. You can see that that little thing is moving around showing you which station you are on. So that is a pretty neat feature. It is actually pretty responsive here as well. If I press the home button, not really much loading here at all. It is just right there to the next screen. So that is definitely a neat feature. And you can also access FM and AM from this main screen right here as well. So you can just click on there. It will take you right back to that same page. It's a little bit redundant, but overall, at least Genesis is going to give you that quick access feature. Coming to right here, you're also going to have your navigation. Unfortunately, we do not have an SD card inside of this vehicle just yet, so we cannot look at the navigation system, but hopefully I can get another Genesis G80, and I can show you this larger 9.2 inch screen in action. And coming over here, you can also show your Sirius XM data, as well as your phone projection and your phone information right here you can connect your phone and you can pretty much do that through bluetooth phone projection is going to be through android auto and apple carplay new for 2018 is the addition of android auto and apple carplay to this vehicle would have definitely liked to have seen genesis do that for the last year model year last year model years the android auto and apple carplay was only available on the 8 inch screen but it was not available on this 9.2 inch screen but for 2018 genesis is also offering that for the 9.2 inch screen which is definitely a pretty neat feature and coming over here will be all of your blue link information you can go through all of your driving information send to car with Google as well as your vehicle diagnostics apps and blue link settings and you can just go back through there by pressing this right here or you can press the back button down here also coming to the right here you also have all of your setups it's pressed on that you also have what is saying navigation It is not going to be fully highlighted because we do not have an SD card inside you can also adjust your sound to your premium audio system which is definitely a pretty neat feature quite a few options inside of here so that is definitely pretty neat inside of there let's go back and you also have your display. You can control the display that you want to be here. You can change the illumination if you want it to be in nighttime mode and all of these different things that you can change. So that is also pretty neat. Phone, voice recognition, as well as your clock, general phone projection, e-manual, and system info. I am going to try to do a complete in-depth review of this system, the 9.2 inch screen, and I may even do one for the 8 inch screen instead of the Genesis G80, so definitely stay tuned for an in-depth review of this infotainment system. This is pretty much just a brief rundown. Also, at the top, it will tell you which page you are on. We are on the home page. It will also tell you the time that it is outside, as well as your phone connection right there, pretty much the signal for your phone as well as for the overall blue link system there as well and your hazard is going to be located right here with some more of that carbon fiber accenting running below that 9.2 inch screen and this 9.2 inch screen is going to be standard on the Genesis G80 Sport the base system like I said earlier is going to be an 8 inch screen and that is going to be available on the 3.8 models of the Genesis G80 upgrade to the 3.8 ultimate package and above and you will get this very large and pretty crisp and easy to use 9.2 inch screen just would have liked to have seen Genesis replace some of the redundancy through the buttons as well as maybe clean up this center stack just a little bit since it is a little bit button happy you're also going to have this 
aluminum accenting running along the bottom going all the way across the dashboard right there as well as with your carbon fiber right there but we'll talk about the passenger side in just a little bit up here more soft to the touch plastics and this is going to have a little bit of a hood here so it is going to prevent glare I am still getting a little bit of glare I would definitely like to have seen this come out a little bit more you can see right here there is going to be a little bit of glare on the bottom portion of the screen but if the Sun's positioned at a different place I'm sure that wouldn't be too bad but definitely would like to see Genesis extend this out just a little bit more but Genesis is going to indent the screen in a little bit so that is going to make it a little bit tough to reach the buttons at least for me definitely would have liked for them to pull it out a little bit and maybe just pull this cover out and to pretty much get the best of both worlds coming down here you also have some more of your controls like I said all of these are going to be very redundant buttons all around your rotary dial coming behind there you have a cubby right here that you can put your key inside of it's actually the perfect size for your key so that is definitely a neat feature right there and coming back here you can open this up it is going to open up in sort of like a suicide way both sides will open up either way and inside of there you are going to have your 12 volt power outlet as, or your 180 watt and then right over here you will have your charging for your phone if your phone does not have any wireless charging you can plug it in right into there with your phone charging cable and this one is specifically for charging while the one that I demonstrated for you instead of here will be to connect your phone through the phone projection system I believe and instead of here you're also going to have this little cubby portion right here that you can put up here to add a little bit more storage inside of the Genesis G80 Sport and down here it is also going to be felt lined and it will have a little bit of an illumination at nighttime that is probably what that portion is going to be right there so let's just put this right back inside of here and let's close this on up and this is also going to be leather wrapped not extremely plush definitely would have liked to have seen this be a little bit more plush but overall it's not terribly bad and you're also going to have your copper stitching running right on here as well as right here this all of this all the way down to right here is going to be leather wrapped in front of that is going to be hard to the touch plastics but that is pretty much expected I mean it's not cheap feeling at all the plastic is obviously there for a reason probably because for your foot you don't want leather down there because you maybe start to start kicking that up and messing it up so that's good that they did put a hard touch plastic down there and then right here it is going to be leather wrap so if you are going to be having wider thighs you are going to be resting on leather here as opposed to resting on a hard touch plastic which is going to be located on this bottom portion right here also going to have some more of that glossy piano black accenting going around here one thing I really like about this Genesis G80 Sport is that they did not go crazy with the glossy black plastic and I'm giving Hyundai and Genesis so many props for this I cannot stand when vehicles put too much glossy plastic or glossy black plastic because it just attracts so much fingerprints and at sometimes it can look overly tacky really like the design that Genesis did go for inside of this vehicle all right so now let's talk about the visibility inside of this vehicle looking around the cabin it is actually going to have pretty Pretty good visibility it's actually pretty easy to see where the hood ends inside of this vehicle so that is definitely a good thing also coming right here your a pillar is not going to be overly thick at all it's actually a pretty good size right here definitely would have liked to have seen have it a little bit of a thinner base down there especially since this mirror comes in right here would like to see Genesis add this mirror to the side of the door as opposed to closer to the a pillar but you are going to have sort of like this microfiber suede headliner running all the way inside of here as well as right up here you will have a mirror so you you can look at yourself and you can close that on up and it is going to have a light that turns on right up here that is going to be LED lighting I believe this vehicle comes with full LED lighting on the interior so that's definitely a neat feature right here you are going to have handles inside of the Genesis G80 Sport so that's definitely a neat feature and it will have more of that aluminum accenting running inside of there and looking out the sides right here pretty large windows on the Genesis G80 Sport pretty neat looking your B pillar is a little bit on the thick side but it's actually pretty thin for a luxury mid-size vehicle but it is a little thick for if you are looking at budget vehicles but overall this vehicle is much larger so I would expect to see a pretty large B pillar there to support this vehicle and coming back there you are going to have your C pillar as well as your D pillar back there your C pillar is going to be pretty thin and then you will have a D pillar back there with a rear quarter window Window, helping with a little bit of visibility and that window is actually pretty large it's not extremely large but it is large enough to actually help you with visibility because a lot of vehicles put windows back there but they aren't necessarily usable this window is definitely usable and looking completely out the back it is going to have a pretty decent size you can't close that sunshade right there so let me close that sunshade really quick 
and it is going to close decently fast and once you close that down you are going to have pretty good visibility out the back and just in case if all of this visibility was not enough for you Genesis G80 Sport like I said is going to offer that 360 view surround view camera system so if you are wanting a little bit more visibility you can rest assured that you will have very very good visibility inside of this vehicle at least for its class also coming up here you're also going to have a little bit more information you are going to have the information for your lights you can turn on the lights inside of the cabin these are going to be LED lights up here this will be if you want the door to open up with the lights so if you open up the doors the lights will turn on so I'm going to open up the door right now lights will turn on and I can close up that and the lights will turn off that's what that button is for right here is to open up the sunshade up here to your very large panoramic sunroof really love the look of this panoramic sunroof you can look at the beautiful sky right out of here and it's going to be a two pane design and it's going to run all the way to pretty much right above your rear passenger's heads. That is definitely a pretty neat feature. We will talk about how that affects rear headroom in just a little bit, but you can open and close this shade by just pressing the button up there and it will close this up in a really neat fashion right there, looking extremely awesome. And I'm going to open that right on back up so we can get a little bit of a brighter visual of this cabin. Right here, you have some more buttons that you can press to turn on each of these lights individually. And you can also open up your panel ceramic sunroof you can only open up this front pane you cannot open up the back pane unfortunately but that's pretty much traditional to most vehicles anyways and then you can open this on up and put your sunglasses inside of there or in other words you can put your glasses inside of there as well and overall that is going to be a pretty neat feature and this is all going to be smooth to the touch plastic so it is going to be very high quality feeling and just in case if you wanted a little more of that accenting you will also get some more of that aluminum accenting running around there in sort of like a U shape. All right, so let's open up this panoramic sunroof and see what it looks like. And it is going to open up pretty fast. It will also open up this little shade right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it will open up that little diffuser shade right there. So that's definitely a pretty neat feature. And it is going to open up just about that much and you can close it up by pushing it right on inside. So that is all really neat features inside of here. So I'm going to close this right on up. And this is also going to have that very neat feeling suede microfiber headliner right there. All right, so now let's talk about the passenger side instead of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. All right, so now let's open up the passenger side door and looking at the door handle design right here, Genesis is going to give you your smart key access system on both your front driver and your front passenger doors. Unfortunately, you're not going to get that on your rear doors, but right here it is going to have that body colored portion right here with some more of that dark chrome accenting right there. And this is going to be the button for that smart key access system like I showed you on the driver's side. And the back is going to have a plastic insert so you are not going to be burning your hands on the very hot metal so let's open up the door and looking at your door panel design very very similar to what's found on the driver's side the only difference is going to be right over here as opposed to getting all of those controls you will just get your window control right here your auto up and auto down for your front passenger as well as your lock and your unlock buttons right there all surrounded by a smooth to the touch plastic also located down here you are not going to have any bottle holder unfortunately so we cannot do our water bottle test sadly but our water bottle is still going to fit inside of there but there are no bottle holders so I'm not really going to even consider putting my one liter water bottle in side of there looking right here you're also going to have this pretty attractive looking Genesis lettering right there right on your door sill it is going to have some sort of like a stainless steel portion right there with some aluminum accenting right there with a little bit more of a brushed portion and hard to the touch plastic which is what you want to have here because that's where you're going to be stepping you don't want soft to the touch plastic because it is going to get messed up very easily so this is going to be pretty durable and it is going to also have that leather imitation looking a lot more upscale and premium all right so let's hop on inside of the genesis g80 sport on the passenger side here door on the passenger side very solid pretty much the same exact sound found on the driver's side all right so right here more of that 
carbon fiber accenting right there looking very very neat on this side it is going to be the most prominent and it is definitely going to wow your front seat passenger with the amount of quality that genesis jd sport offers as well as more of that aluminum bars at the bottom very similar to what's found on your key fob design more soft to the touch injected molded plastic on the portions right here as well as right over here is going to be your ac vent with more of that aluminum accenting going around there upper portion of the dashboard more of that soft to the touch injected molded plastic not as soft as what's found down here but it is still going to be soft and then that is going to go all the way up to the windscreen which is also a pretty neat feature a lot of competitors like to just pretty much cheap out and just pretty much stop the soft touch right here but this is going to continue all the way down to the very seams of the windscreen so that's definitely a pretty neat feature coming down here your glove box is also going to have a slight soft to the touch material there as well so that's definitely a pretty neat feature and you can open this up this is going to be lockable and this will also have a smooth to the pl touch plastic right here with some more aluminum accenting running around there and let's open up our glove box right here just pull it on out and it is going to open right down it is also going to come with an led light inside of there i believe and it is going to be damped and lined with felt so it is going to be very high quality and premium feeling let's see if our tissue box fits inside of here and this is going to be an 8.4 by 8.1 tissue box and it is going to fit in there with no problem so that's definitely a pretty neat feature there and over here to the right is going to be your cargo net which you can have in the trunk of the vehicle but we will talk about the cargo area in just a little bit so hang tight for that and legroom instead of this vehicle is also pretty good as well i have tons of space right here i can actually move the seat quite a bit further back to where my feet are not even touching the front right there so that is pretty interesting how much legroom you can get up here and this seat can pretty much go all the way down like i said the seat is going to be a 12-way passenger seat and it is going to have tons of adjustability and lots of range in the movements as well so it is pretty much going to be very easy for pretty much any passenger to get comfortable so that is definitely a pretty neat feature inside of here so if you are going to be tall short wide or narrow you should fit inside of these seats with no problem coming up here i did also want to show you what's up here the mirror inside of the Genesis G80 Sport is going to have a digital readout for your compass right there as well as your home link. You can have different home links inside of this vehicle as well. You will have your home link for three different homes just in case if you have three homes. And right over here you will have your SOS button and a few more controls on that mirror design looking really, really neat. One thing I did also want to mention inside of the Genesis G80 Sport is what this box is right here. This box is going to also function for your adaptive cruise control, I believe. So you are going to have that box up front on the grill design, but also right here, if you go outside of the vehicle, there will be some cameras on here as well. So I am going to pretty much take you around if you are interested in what that looks like from the outside. And looking at that from the outside, you are going to have what looks seems to be a camera right here and is going to sort of open up, probably will, for, will be for your adaptive cruise control. And then right up there, you're also going to have a few more sensors, probably for your lighting inside, as well as for your headlights. That'll be probably for how the car can tell if it's nighttime or daytime. All right, so now let's talk about the rest of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. All right, so now let's talk about the back seat comfort inside of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. So opening up the back doors to the G80 Sport, these doors are going to have a pretty neat design to them, very similar to what's found on the front seats. Looking up here, you are going to have soft to the touch materials carrying over from the front seat. So that's definitely something pretty neat that Genesis did choose to carry over. You're also going to have your carbon fiber accenting right there with a glossy finish, very similar to the front seats, as well as this aluminum accenting going around your door handle, which is also going to be aluminum accented with your door locks and your lexicon premium audio system right there with that aluminum mesh grill over it looking extremely luxurious right there coming over here same leather stitching you are going to have copper stitching on this black leather and it is sort of going to have that quilted design since it is going to be going down in that fashion right here very plush as well and you are going to have soft to the touch plastic inside of there 
on the bottom there's going to be sort of like a rubber grip and then on the sides will be a smooth plastic which will run all the way up right here with to your window switch controls which are going to be auto up and auto down for your rear passengers for both the left and the right which is a pretty neat feature and that leather stitching is going to run all the way up to right here with that same copper stitching looking pretty neat this will also still be that soft to the touch material not extremely soft but it is going to have a little bit of a rubberized texturing to it which will still be leather textured and then coming down here will be another grill for your lexicon premium audio system and down here once again still soft to the touch all the way down to the bottom to where the door will be closing so that's definitely a pretty neat feature the attention to detail in this vehicle is pretty impeccable definitely definitely impressed inside of here hard to the touch plastics pretty much what you want to see inside of this vehicle since if you want to be putting water bottles or drinks back here you don't want this to not be hard touch plastics because if you spill something you do not want that to spill inside of here but unfortunately Genesis is still not going to give you any water bottle holders back here a lot of vehicles offer that but Genesis just seems to have forgotten about that in the back seats but overall very spacious inside of here you can probably put your cell phone inside of there and still have some room to spare all right, so now let's talk about the back seat comfort inside of the 2018 Genesis G80. So, sitting in the back seat of this sport model of the G80, you are going to have a pretty decent, comfortable feeling seat back here. These seats are going to have pretty good side bolstering right here for your thighs as well as pretty good side bolstering for your torso, especially for a back seat. These seats are also going to have lots of shoulder support here as well. So pretty much sitting back inside of these seats, very comfortable and relaxed, but also sort of sporty in the back seats as well. And also these seats are not going to come with any thigh extenders. Unfortunately, definitely would have liked to have seen that at least in the back seats, but the Genesis G80 Sport is going to come with these seats that are pretty high mounted off of the ground so you are going to have tons of support under your thighs when you are just sitting back here normally also the headrests are not going to move in and out but they will move up and down and these headrests are going to be extremely plush i'm going to show you these headrests in a little bit more detail when we do get inside of the cabin but just sitting back in these seats definitely pretty comfortable also i would definitely like to have seen at least some type of reclining feature instead of these seats as well especially since this is a little bit more of a luxury vehicle would have definitely like to have seen some sort of reclining feature for genesis to add in the back seats but legroom inside of this vehicle is incredible especially since this vehicle offers class leading interior volume and that is definitely going to show i have this front seat adjusted to my comfort at 511 and i can fit just about half of my arm right there with lots of room to spare and under the seats i have tons of room to put my feet as well so let's look inside of this cabin in a little bit more detail in the back seats all right so let's hop on into the back seats here and you do not have to duck your head at all very similar step in height as what's found on the front seats it is going to be a pretty traditional sedan but it is going to have this pretty interesting cutout here as well very squared off right here so that's pretty much where your head will come right in and it is not going to be a sloping roof line at all it is going to be a sloping roof line but the portion that is for the occupant compartment is not sloping down at all right here is where most of that slope down will happen and that is very efficient for Genesis to do that as opposed to sloping this portion down because that will pretty much hinder the overall accessibility of getting in and out of the cabin but let's close up the door very very solid sounding actually sounds a little bit more solid than the front doors if i'm being honest but that probably is probably just my imagination but sitting back here instead of the genesis g80 sport you have tons of legroom i have this seat adjusted to my comfort at 511 and i mean look at the amount of space i have in here about half of my arm can fit in there with no problem also if you open this up you have a little bit more storage to put whatever you may need inside of there and this is going to be a smooth plastic right there as well as a little bit more of a smooth plastic it is going to have a very mild leather stitching on there and your leather is going to carry over to the back with a little bit more of that copper stitching on the rear of your front driver's seat coming over here to the center you are going to have your ac vents and they are going to be in that pretty interesting design this design actually reminds me of previous generation hyundai's how they had sort of like that design it is sort of like a leaf like design very attractive looking especially in this gd sport it looks very elegant and has a very neat silhouette to these ac vents also right here you can open and close them you can also control if you want them to be warm or cold no digital controls back here definitely would have liked to have seen some digital controls but i guess this vehicle technically has a tri-zone climate system even though this is a pretty not 
extravagant excuse for a tri-zone climate control but i believe this is going to count as that tri-zone since you can control the different temperatures back here but not very specifically also right here you are going to have a pretty large hump in the back seat as well so if you are going to be sitting in the center seat i would expect it is not going to be extremely comfortable but we are going to sit in there in just a second and then coming back here you have a pretty large portion right here you can fit cups inside of here as well as bottles we are going to see how our 16 ounce water bottle fits in here as well as our one liter water bottle fits in here and let's close that right on back up it is going to be a plastic portion right here very confident feeling when it does close very very upscale feeling the fit and finish right here is not the best i definitely would have liked to have seen this seam a little bit closer and also you can sort of see where the plastic cut under there so i definitely would like to see genesis improve that especially since this is supposed to be a very upscale luxurious vehicle and then coming back here you have all of your heated seat controls as well as your rear sunshade control so you can turn on your heated seats it's going to be a three-stage heated seat control as well as your sunshade will be located right here you press this and it will move up that sunshade press it again and it will put down your sunshade back there and that sunshade moves pretty fast so that is definitely a good thing this is also going to be completely leather wrapped the entire portion right here is going to be extremely leather wrapped it's not going to be plush that much it's going to be a slight plushness to it definitely would have liked to have seen this be a little bit more plush but overall it is going to be leather wrapped so that is definitely a neat feature and then coming back here you are going to have your pass through your cargo pass through all you have to do is push this and pull it right on down i like how it pulls this way as opposed to that way some vehicles have it where it pulls that way not a huge fan of it and i can pull my tripod right inside of here or push it right on back and close that on up so that is definitely a pretty neat feature there and if we close this on up you will see that there is a little portion that you can grab right here to pull down this center portion and it is going to lock into place so you can sit a center passenger right there but overall the seats inside of the genesis g80 sport in the back seats are going to be looking very very attractive looking very similar to what's found up on the front seats you're going to have more of that copper stitching running all down the side bolstering right here as well as the upper bolstering over here and you will also see that right here you will have the cutout for your seat belt right there and then right here will be your headrest which can move up and down which is a pretty neat feature we'll definitely like for them to move in and out like i said earlier when i was talking about rear seat comfort but like i promised i am going to show you the plushness of these headrests and they are extremely plush you can see the indention that's happening right there probably one of the most plush headrests that i have rested my head on it is also going to be sculpted i'm not sure if you can tell the sculpting but it's going to be sculpted to fit around your head so it's also going to be a pretty neat feature inside of here and coming over here to the center seat we are going to sit in the center seat and see the comfort right here and sitting in the center seat, well, that's when comfort is just going to drop just a little bit, especially since this giant center tunnel is going to be located right here and the main reason that this is going to be here is because this vehicle is going to have an all-wheel drive model and for that all-wheel drive model you are going to need to have that drivetrain running through as, as well as a few more other things running through here so you cannot put your feet on top I mean you can but I mean your knees are going to be all up in the air practically all the way to the height of this seat so definitely recommend you keep them down you just have to bargain with your side passenger fellows for a little bit of legroom there but overall the seat bottom here is going to be leather surfaced still and it is still going to have a pretty smooth and plush feel to it very similar to what's found on the outside it's not going to be perforated unfortunately so you are not going to get any heated functionality or ventilated functionality for this center seat but overall it is going to be decent and sitting back it is not going to be extremely comfortable either this vehicle is probably mainly meant for four people and you would pretty much just put a fifth person in here in a pinch because this back seat rest is not extremely plush i mean you can see that it's not really indenting that much and if i come here this indents quite a bit so it's not going to be extremely plush it is definitely made to be just a center armrest but you can technically see the person back here and you do sort of feel this plastic cutout in your back as well so like i said definitely recommend to see only four people in the g80 sport now if i sit all the way to the right inside of this vehicle i have this seat all the way back in its tracks remember how 
I was sitting up front and my feet could barely even reach the front up there. That's pretty much what's happening right now with the seat all the way back in his tracks. And I still have a pretty reasonable amount of room here. This is probably just about, I would say about four inches of leg room right here, which is pretty incredible to have inside of the G80 Sport. So you can rest assured that you can have an extremely tall front passenger up there, probably close to six foot five, six foot six, and you can still have a pretty moderately sized 5.11 passenger sitting in the back seat. You also have a mat pocket back here. And another thing you will notice is that underneath these rear seats, you can put your feet under here since these seats are going to be height adjustable for both your front passenger and your front driver. And headroom inside of the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be pretty decent. I'm going to turn around the camera right now so you can see the headroom that you are going to be expecting inside of this vehicle. And looking at headroom right here, it's actually a pretty decent amount of headroom for a sedan. I would say just about maybe one and a half to two inches of headroom, which is pretty decent, especially for this size of vehicle. And Genesis is trying to make this vehicle as efficient as possible, especially with the way that they do choose to scope the roof line. It is not going to slope down too much until right around after the rear passenger's head. And you're also going to get this pretty neat window back there as well, allowing for a little bit more of an open and airy feel to the cabin, as well as the sunshade so you can get privacy back here from anyone who may be wanting to look inside of here or just from the sun this is definitely working very well i'm sitting back here and not too much sun is coming in here and hurting me because i do have the ac on and the sun shades up and if you have the rear sun shade up as well you will pretty much be completely protected from the sun besides those rear little corner windows right there but overall, the back seats inside of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport are pretty, pretty comfortable. Also, I did want to mention how you are also going to get this panoramic sunroof, which is going to extend all the way to the back seat. So the back seat passengers will also be able to enjoy that panoramic sunroof. And you will also get these grip handles in the back, as well as with your laundry hooks right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in detail. Your laundry hooks, and you will also have your LED lighting back here, which is also a pretty neat feature to have. Have, and that is going to be available on both sides inside of the G80 Sport with that Alcantara feeling suede microfiber headliner. So that is also going to be a pretty neat feature. All right, so now let's look at the cargo area inside of this vehicle and let's see how this vehicle stacks up to its competitors. All right, so there are a total of four ways to open up the trunk to the G80 Sport. So one way you can open up the trunk is by coming to your key fob right here, pressing the third button and holding it down, and it will unlock the trunk and open it right on up. The other way you can open up the trunk is by coming to your Genesis logo right here. Beneath there, there is going to be a little rubber pad that you can press on right next to your reverse camera. The other way you can open up the trunk to the Genesis G80 Sport will be by coming to the front driver's area right here, making sure that the door is unlocked, opening it right on up, and you can press the button right here, and it will unlock the trunk and open it up through that power assist. And the other way you can open up the trunk is by coming back here and waiting behind the Genesis G80 for the smart trunk access system, which Hyundai and Genesis has been implementing on a lot of their latest products. And the Genesis G80 Sport is going to be one of the vehicles that is going to have that as standard equipment. But let's open up the tailgate through this this way right here I'm going to hold this down it is going to flash the hazards and play a little chime indicating that the trunk is going to start opening up and it is going to be a power assisted trunk right here so that is a pretty neat feature but walking up to the trunk right here what you are going to be looking at is going to be a total of 15.3 cubic feet of space and that is going to be with the rear seats folded up because those rear seats are not going to fold down inside of the Genesis G80 Sport unfortunately. Now this is going to be the same cargo foot rating for all Genesis G80s. The Genesis G80 Sport is not going to decrease the cargo cargo area at all and this is going to be a pretty class competitive trunk ranking in just around the middle of the pack so if you are looking at the mercedes-benz e-class that vehicle is going to have 13.1 cubic feet of space the cadillac ct6 will have just about 13.7 cubic feet of space that audi a6 will have just about 14.1 cubic feet of space lexus es will have just about 15.2 cubic feet of space this is when the genesis g80 sport is going to come in then the jaguar xf will have just about 17.8 
cubic feet of space. Lexus GS right behind that at 18.4 and the BMW 5 Series at a pretty whopping 18.7 cubic feet of space. So the Genesis G80 Sport is not going to have the largest trunk in its class, but it's definitely not going to be the smallest trunk in its class either. Also looking inside of here, the furnishing inside of the G80 Sports trunk is also pretty top notch here. This is going to be a cargo floor inside of the G80 Sport. It is going to be carpeted and it is going to say Genesis right here looking extremely neat right there. One thing that this that is unique to this floor right here is that it is going to be two-sided. You can't have a rubber side or this side right here. So this is going to be a reversible floor that you can flip over. I believe this is a dealer accessory. Don't know if every Genesis G80 Sport will come standard with this, but my Genesis G80 Sport is going to have this that I am testing. Looking inside of it, you are also going to have a pass through right there genesis jd sport unfortunately does not offer any flat folding rear seats or any folding rear seats for that matter you're only going to have that pass through right there and if we press that pass through you do have to sort of step through quite a bit but you can press it and it will open up displaying everything else inside of that cargo area coming to the left you will have more of that sort of like that lining on the walls pretty traditional to most vehicles and that is going to be going on all around the interior of here right here you are going to have a cargo net inside of the trunk of the g80 sport you will pretty much hook these little holes in all of these chrome accenting portions back here and i'm going to pretty much have a little overlay right here so you can see pretty much what that looks like and the main reason for that is so you can put things underneath it so things aren't sliding all around inside of here the genesis g80 sport also offers this standard cargo grocery hook right here so you can put your grocery bags and put them right on here and it is going to have a maximum load of 10 kilograms so that is definitely something to keep in mind so don't put too much of heavy things in here don't put 20 milk jugs because this thing may break but overall for your basic things that you will be buying at the grocery store this thing will definitely serve its purpose and that's definitely a pretty neat feature that the genesis g80 does offer that as standard equipment also coming up here the g80 sport also comes with a umbrella holder which is a pretty neat feature so i do have a pretty small umbrella in here and all you have to do is put the umbrella inside of here and close it right on up and it will hook right into place so that is also a pretty neat feature and i really like how genesis offers that as well and right over here you will have more of that material all along the top right here right over here you will have the button to close your trunk as well as to lock your trunk and this is going to be the button that you will press to lock the trunk as well as to lock all the doors so let's say you come in here you put all your groceries inside and you want to just close it up and walk away from your car you can just press that it will close up the trunk and it will lock all the doors of the vehicle as well as the trunk and if you come back inside of here i did want to lift up this floor and show you what's underneath here and you are going to have a little plastic portion right here definitely would have liked to have seen this the same chrome accenting as found right here similar to what i believe was on the g90 but let's lift this up and underneath here you are going to have a spare tire this is going to be a compact spare tire it is going to come with all the tools that you will need to replace that tire and this is also where your 12 volt battery will be located right back here and this tire is going to be a compact like i said it is going to have a width of 135 millimeters so that is definitely something to keep in mind but it is still going to be the exact same radius at 19 inches so that is definitely a neat feature that genesis even offers that so genesis is not going to give you a fix a flat kit inside of this g80 sport so that is a pretty neat feature and that is probably also why the g80 sport is going to be a lot more heavier because it is going to offer quite a bit of features inside of this vehicle especially that spare tire will definitely add a lot more space while a lot of its other competitors will probably be offering fix a flat kits also looking over here this is going to be where your fuel filler door manual release is going to be so get say your fuel filler door is not going to work anymore you see the power runs out of it or something like that you can just pull on here and it will open up that fuel door right up here this is where more electronics will be to pretty much change out the tail light right here so you will pretty much just open that up and change that tail light and the same thing is going to be located on this side you will have all of the electronics that you will need to change the tail lights of the g80 sport and right inside of here you will have a few more electronics that you can easily access right there as well but overall the cargo area inside of the 2018 g80 sport is pretty pretty neat also another thing i am noticing is that you are going to get sort of like this plastic 
lining right here we'll definitely like to have seen a copper since copper is sort of the design language that genesis is trying to go for with this vehicle we have definitely like to have seen some copper accents right here maybe even copper strips or just a copper bar running right here that would have definitely added a little bit more of a sporty and a little bit more of an upscale factor here but overall the trunk of the genesis g80 sport is definitely not going to make you disappointed at all and actually the trunk of this vehicle definitely impressed me quite a bit so let's close it right on up by just pressing this button right here and let's check out the rest of the vehicle All right, now I did also want to mention what Genesis experience is, and that's pretty much going to be something that is going to be standard on all Genesis products. So the Genesis experience is pretty much Genesis's suite of owner benefits. It will add the following complimentary services to your vehicle, and the Genesis JD Sport is going to come standard with all of these features and services. So it is going to come standard with Genesis valet service, and that is pretty much where Genesis will pick up your vehicle for free and provide a courtesy replacement vehicle until your services have been completed for a total of three years or 36,000 miles. The Genesis experience will also include complimentary scheduled maintenance, which pretty much is free scheduled maintenance for three years or 36,000 miles with free oil changes during every appointment. The Genesis connected services comes with a suite of safety guidance and remote features such as Google destination search, remote start and roadside assistance all done through your smartphone. That's pretty much what I was mentioning earlier, how I would have liked to have seen Genesis add that system on the G80 Sport on the key fob, but they do have this app which is going to be standard for all Genesis products. So all you have to do is download that app, I'm pretty sure, and you will get your remote start with also, I believe it will turn on the climate control system as well. So that's a pretty neat feature. This vehicle will also come with complimentary Sirius XM data, which pretty much adds three years of free updated traffic info, real time road conditions, and access to 175 news, talk, and entertainment systems. And the Genesis G80 Sport will also feature 24 seven enhanced roadside assistance and this pretty much is in a nutshell free roadside tire changes and transportation to your nearest Genesis dealer if you find your way on the side of the road and you need some help and the Genesis G80 Sport will also feature multimedia and navigation updates through the Genesis experience as well. And the multimedia and navigation updates is pretty much free map updates with navigation updates available as part of your annual routine maintenance visit. So every year you will get that updated map and navigation display, which is also a pretty neat feature. All right, so now let's talk about the safety inside of the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport. So the Genesis G80 did receive a top safety rating from both the IIHS and the NHTSA, receiving a top safety pick plus award by the IIHS and a five-star safety rating by the NHTSA or the federal government. Now, the Genesis G80 did receive an acceptable rating for the headlights, but that is only going to apply to the high-intensity discharge headlights found on the base 3.8 models. Upgrade to the 3.8 Ultimate Package and above or this G80 Sport and you will get those LED headlights with dynamic bending control and those headlights have not been tested by the IIHS just yet but I would expect those headlights to get good ratings since they are going to be LED headlights and the IIHS loves when headlights have that dynamic bending feature. The Genesis G80 Sport is also going to earn a superior rating in the frontal crash avoidance and mitigation test by the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety as well. And some of those available safety systems found on the Genesis G80 Sport can include the full color heads up display, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, a driver attention alert, blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, and the list just keeps on going on because the Genesis G80 just comes with so much standard equipment for safety. And new for 2018 is going to be the addition of pedestrian detection and driver attention alert. So any model years before the 2018 will not come with the option of that pedestrian detection and driver's attention alert. And I believe that was first introduced on the 2017 Genesis G90 that I did review for you guys not too long ago. And that is also going to start to trickle down onto the Genesis G80 as well for the 2018 model year. And the Genesis G80 will also come with a total of nine standard airbags. You are going to get your driver's airbag 
backpack as well as your front passenger's airbag you will get side curtain airbags on both sides of the vehicle as well as side torso airbags for your front driver your front passenger as well as a driver's knee airbag and side torso airbags for your rear passengers on the left side and the right side making up for a total of nine airbags which is definitely a pretty neat feature so all in all the genesis g80 sport is definitely not lacking in the safety department all right, so now let's talk about my recommendations for the G80 Sport. If you are interested in getting a very high-performance G80, I definitely recommend going for the Sport model that we have right here. Also, if you are looking for a vehicle that is going to have a lot more of a sporty, aggressive, and macho appearance over all other Genesis G80 models on the road, the G80 Sport may also be the vehicle that you may want to look at as well. Now, the Genesis G80, all Genesis G80s are going to offer class-leading interior volume. That is going to be if you go for the base 3.8 the middle of the line 3.3t or the top of the line 5.0 model you are going to get class leading interior volume so if you are looking for a very spacious mid-size luxury sedan the g80 sport may just be the vehicle that you want to look at and better yet if you want a very spacious mid-size sports luxury sedan definitely go for the g80 sport because it is definitely not going to disappoint also the genesis g80 sport is going to offer an incredible value proposition unlike a lot of its other competitors this G80 Sport is going to come with all of the standard equipment that you pretty much expect out of this vehicle as standard off of that base $55,000 mark. And what that pretty much means is that this vehicle is going to be an incredible bargain in this segment. Lots of its competitors are going to start around the same price, but if you are going to comparably equip some of those competitors, they will be anywhere from five to $10,000 more expensive than the G80 Sport that we have right here. All in all, the new 2018 Genesis G80 Sport definitely deserves a spot on your shopping list if you're in the market for a safe, stylish, and wallet-cautious, sportified mid-size luxury sedan. Offering class-leading interior volume, tons of standard technology, and a design that will surely turn heads, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport offers everything the Sport name suggests, plus even more. Well, that's it for this full review. Comment and tell me what you would like to see in future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Marcus, and thanks for watching Drive and Be Driven. Keep it positive, and I'll see you next time. Are you confused as to how this vehicle got this overall rating? Click the link in the description or go to driveandbedriven.com to get a full explanation as to how the Drive and Be Driven overall rating is calculated. You can become a Drive and Be Driven driver today. Just simply click the subscribe button and you will become a part of the Drive and Be Driven circle. Subscribing will allow you to stay up to date with the Drive and Be Driven YouTube channel. Thank you to all of my current Drive and Be Driven drivers for driving me towards my goals and dreams. Stay subscribed for more awesome videos like this one.